That was a doddle. That was not a doddle. Hardcore's done. And obviously as well we can't do that part just yet because doing it. Laser level set up for our levels. Right, quarter past eight, ninth of Feb, and we're back here. We were in here yesterday because it was the um, the beast from the east return, as the newspapers call it. We were at another job moving some stone around, which didn't film. We planned on coming back here, but it was still snowing and it never stopped yesterday. So, we're back. You can see where we got with the lintel, all finished started the cut there so that cut needs taken all the way down that that pillar needs taken out before that we need to cut this down spout out level with that wall plate get the piece of polish arbor that we brought with us slotted under that lead onto the wall plate rest it on that fascia board tack a couple of screws in it and then we have a tent we can put underneath it then and hopefully we can get this up to dpc today it's currently got three inches of water in it minimum to five inch lintel, which is half partially submerged. So it's spitting now, but we just need to try and get something set up. We can't walk away from this again. He's going away Monday, and we haven't even got up to damp yet. So the plan is up to damp today, slab it Saturday, start the brickwork Saturday, and see what we can get done on Sunday before I'm left all, all by myself. So, I just need Alex up that ladder and I'll pass in the poly and see what that needs cutting first, so I'll take it from there. As you can see, it's, it's all just going straight into here, so that needs diverted what somehow. What's the cutting it going to do? It's going to make it harder to move. The, 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 the poly card's got to go underneath it. Can't go against it, can it? So, it's spitting now, but we just need to try and get something set up. We can't walk away from this again. He's going away Monday, and we haven't even got up to damp yet. So, the plan is up to damp today. Slab it Saturday to start the brickwork Saturday and see what we can get done on Sunday before I'm left all, all by myself. Right, we're back. Rain stopped. The job we've just been to, the stone didn't show up because the um, driver was thinking he was coming pm, but we were told am, so a bit of a mix up. So we just sat there for two and a half hours approximately. So it's nearly 11. <laughs> so we're going to just crack on with this while it's like this. And if it does start coming down again, then we'll set the board and the tent up. A bit frustrating, but what can you do? Just keep going. Yeah, we've got, a, um, got this to put in. We've also got that to drop as well. So where that pencil line is, well, I've lost both my pencil lines, so just need to redo them. Do a bit of cutting and draw that. Well, Friday's descended into a bag of crap. We've sort of got 
we've sort of got a tent up, laser level set up for our levels. We've set out, it's very hard to square it, we've just paralleled it off inside there and used our square. We see that used our square there to square it at the front. Um, everything's soaking wet, the bricks are soaking wet, blocks are soaking wet. Cement soaking wet. Yep. We haven't got, we've got two skins of block on edge down the bottom, one skin of block in the middle, and three, three coasts of brick on the outside. So there's not a lot to do, but it's after 12 o'clock now. We've just sat, sat all morning in Bursco, most of the morning, for nothing. I mean, it has been raining. We've still got a gap here that's going to get us if it, if it get, comes on heavy. And even if we do get a piece of polycarb up there, up there, then it's still going to go onto the tent and run back in. So it's, it's just, uh, it's not good, but it's got to be done. I'd rather just pack up and go home, but just need to regroup and get on with it. So um, Alex just brought some dryish brick, which we need to move over here or in the wherever and get the blocks down first so we're um, back on time lapse I suppose let's see what Right, I've had the call, we've got to drop everything now and go and meet the stone. So I'm going to go and get cut the bags on the stone now, it's just staying here. We're going to start knocking this pillar down, because I've just done the cut, cut for that, and the cut for the vertical damp. Obviously there's another one to go over there, but that's not. there's no rush for that today. It's starting to rain now, so it's, it's coming through the gap. We'll just have to see how we manage. Yeah, Alex's going to take this down while I'm away. Get it in the skip before it goes. And then uh, I'm going to get there and get back as quick as I can. And then we'll, go, we'll, have to, we'll both go back later and just level the stone out. See right, I'm back. Just had a late lunch-ish. We, we ate all our dinner early, so we had no dinner. So I've just got a couple of croissants. So got myself a bargy and some chocolate. So just gorged on that. Um, the uh, of course there's cars in the way, so I took longer than I should have done. But the stone's down. It just needs spreading out yet, which we're going to do after here. So as you can see, Alex has. We did the cuts before I went. Alex. Uh, 
took that side of the pillar down. Obviously, the other side to come down now. That was a cavity wall, obviously, because of the, it was a nib for the front of the house. So that's what we've um, we put the new lintels into bridge over that. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to get the water out because um, we have a downspout. Flooding us out, and we've got no equipment to divert it. So um, yeah, basically today sucks, big time. Not having a good time. Alex and Alex isn't well, and he's about to go to Sweden on Monday. He's really struggling again. So um, we, we just have to press on. I'd like to just abandon it, but we can't. So this is all ready for jointing now, I reckon. All we're going to do in there is block flat again, single block, and it's going to wrap round to two two brick. Same this side, wrap round to two brick. There's not going to be any, anything on the concrete where the floor is, where the door is. That's just going to be hardcore straight onto that. That's it. I need to start getting the water out of here so we can get the block working. We've, we've lost a good two hours this morning, which didn't matter this morning, but obviously it, it affects everything else throughout the day. Um, we're going to have to drop the tent and just throw it over there flat. Hopefully this is going soon. Once this is gone we can get the tent in a, a, a bit better. I'll just drop that leg down to the floor. Here's my main man. We don't even need a half a mix, but we still have to mix half. half a mix. We'll fill the holes up. Or we can fill the cavity up as well so it's yeah. a bit stronger. Yeah, because we are uh, prepping it tomorrow, aren't we? Alex's face sums the day up. Need some 40 year old broccolari. Yeah. Best way to describe today is £10 of shit in a £5 bag. <laughs> Well, at least got you to smile anyway. Uh, anyone who plays what? Cod? Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein will know that quote. Yeah, anyway. That's enough waffle. I need to start uh, bailing. Uh, the, the, anything bigger than a fist needs to go in the skin. We, we've been that hectic and everywhere, we forgot to bloody change the battery on the camera so you've been stuck in the van for a while, dead. Um, I'll take you over to see the progress we've made, but Jesus. We jinxed our fate by saying we had such a good day the other day. We need to learn our lesson, stop saying that, because good God, we get punished for it. But, um, what time is it? I don't even know. I think it's past four because I was able to take my tablets. Yeah, 20 past four. I've still got the internal skin to do, but uh, in fact, why don't I just take you over instead of trying to explain? So, I've got the first quarter pig down, I guess, if you will. Don't get that done now. Uh, I've just got to get a return in, then the blocks can go down, and we just need the that 140 return piece. Do you can do that now? That door's set out, so that's the doorway. There you go, that's the doorway. So it's the same on this side, brick and a half. Well, sorry, from the from the outside, it's a brick and a half. It's a 
No, it's two brick, sorry. <laughs> two brick, there we go. I'm not with it, as you can tell. But, uh, that was a close one, I almost went right back in the mortar. It's one of those days. One where the, uh, the... We've had a few good days, haven't we, lately? Straightforward days. That's then. what I said, we've been punished. This one's just kick, come, kick us right in the balls. <sighs> Not even in the arse. But that's all that's left. And obviously, we've mixed extra mortar to put in the cavity end in the holes. If, if, every chance. if we've even got anything left over, no one our luck. No one our luck will be short. I'm just going to get a load of block pavers and stuff on these legs tonight. Yeah. And maybe uh, uh, bungee cord it to the scaffold and bungee cord it down to that sill. That we still on that pointing job. We'll have to move it. We won't. As long as it's we will, because if, if, if they come before we come to move that skip, we're not here straight away, are we? Where are going to put it? Just going to have to angle it. Right, let's, let's carry on then. Always driving to work. <laughs> We're finished for the day. That's it. So tomorrow we're ready for getting it back filled. Obviously, we're gonna get the eighth and bigger than a half is going, but that's getting done tomorrow. So no, it's not. Why isn't it? Because it is. It's course slow. DPC. Look at the floor. DPC is low with the bottom of the render. Follow it through. Good morning on Saturday the 10th of February at what time is it? 20 past 11. 
We've um, been down at the other job in Bersco moving stone around this morning, which took longer than we thought, as it always does. And I don't know if we mentioned it yesterday, but this is our cock up. Uh, not a cock up, cock up, more just a mishap. Obviously, followed everything around to Damp Course, which is there. But then, um, when you follow the Damp Course along, which is the bottom of that render, it's of course lower than the whole floor. So, we planned on concreting today, which we still could have done, but uh, the customers decided they, um, they don't want two brick pillars, they want two and a half brick pillars. So, we basically have to adjust these two little pillars here. Here and here, and then um, so we'll just then put a course of uh, brick on the top and another course of brick on the outside up. So basically, take everything up a course. We've got two solid concrete left, so we'll just cut them down to um, give us that three inch piece. Anyway, so there's our nice neat cut with the saw straight through, and that's that's a vertical damp. That's the face work, so face work, vertical damp, cavity, and then oh, you can see there. So, this has got to come out this morning. This section here, which obviously we can't cut with a grinder or anything, so we don't even need to stitch through it because it goes into its return, so it'll just break off in that corner. So, that needs taken down below damp. That the, the, the wall below needs taken down a couple of courses, and there's a wall that goes across here. I think it needs a course taken off it, the original footprint of the lean to. So, um so you see the porch is quite big, but that's the original footprint which is there. So we're only added on that section there and that section across there, so that comes under the three meters square. So um we've just got a tiny bit left in the skip. So this is going in the skip. I'm not sure when that's going, so we need to get stuck into that. Let's make a mess. We get our levels. Oh yes. As the silly bang man says, bang, and the wall is gone. How, how much better does that look? And it's cost them extra for the extra pay, uh, put the lintels in. <laughs> my mind makes a difference. So all gone. Took it down below the floor, and there's the new lintels spanning across. 
now we can see what they're doing. Jobs are good. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to tell them, but we lifted the, um, the lintels up of course as well, just to give a little bit more light into the hall. We, um, we couldn't have gone any higher, otherwise we wouldn't be able to point over the top of the lintel. And um, that was that was hard enough getting up there. And also, as you can see, there's the original cavity tray up there. So we didn't want to be starting to disturb that. So it's going to be a good size, this. Nice and spacious. Yeah. So and now, now, have, you, have you filled them in? What's happening here? Uh, yeah, they decided to bring them in, bring the doors in half a brick. Because <coughs> when, they, when they've actually seen it built, they've realised this, this side, it took no windows in it, so this side's going to be where the coats go and shoes. So if the pillar, if the return is too small, obviously all the sh shoes and coats will stick out. Whereas now, everything will stick behind that little nib along this wall. And then this, this will probably just need a damp course up it when they dry line over it. So that's cavity wall, but that's the outside skin. We're putting a vertical damp in it, but it probably just do with a, a piece of escreen or damp going up that when you dab, dot and dab over it, because that sticks out slightly more than this. And that can't go any smaller because that's our seating for the lintel. If we take that any smaller, we lose the 150 seating. So it's all it's all interconnected. As you can see, the, bit, the block where it steps back a little bit, so it just means bringing that board off, off a bit more with the, with the dot and dab and keeping it tight at this end. Now we have our laser. Yeah. So we know where we're going. Yeah. yeah it looks like it might be more than a brick, you know. Or a very big bed. Well, it's, it's a brick, isn't it? If you look at that wall there. It's quite a big bed, though, isn't it? it doesn't matter. We, 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 want, we want to be slightly lower with our floor than this. Got a, uh, got a critter coming out. I don't want that thing to get whacked. Come on. So yeah, what time are we on? Don't mind looking at the camera, there's no time on the camera. 10 to 12. Oh wow. There's a close-up for all those people who don't like spiders. <laughs> I think this is a I think this is a male. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't like uh, we don't like our animals getting hurt by our arachnids. Yeah. Right, ten to twelve. I think we'll have an early lunch and then get crack on with this. Yeah, it's, it's raised basically to level all this out now. Get it whackered. We're just using the original hardcore. It's perfectly good stuff. Just take all the um, plasterboard out of it, and then we'll just blind it with sand. We've got plenty of sand. And. First fish green insulation. Mind you, oh, I see you after dinner. There we go. It actually looks a bit more like a uh, like a slab prep now. But obviously, as you can see, we're quite low here, and I did tell him there was no fuel left in the wacker, but he thought there'd be enough, but now he's got to go and fill up the wacker. So while he fills up the wacker, I'm just chossing, tossing some brick in here, and um, just smashing them up with some more hardcore, and obviously as well, we can't do that part just yet, because doing that now, won't be able to do anything because the blocks will be loose. So we're going to get all this floor part whackered and prepped and all that. And then we'll set them afterwards. Then we'll have like the whole rest of the day for it to go off. So while he goes to do that, I'll get as much as I can done here. I'm trying to break my fingers, which I almost just did. So we'll see you in a bit. Is it a uh, whacker in it? Yeah. I need you to do the corners because I can't get in the corners. I don't want to knock the wall. Oh, you mean lift it into the... Um, Probably do that with a brick or something. Now I lived in Hilly on Thames not so long ago, and so did Bjorn from Abba and his family. So I used to see him quite a lot of Tesco's. Alright, one sec, please start. You know, Steve, we should really go to the pub. Where are they? I really like what you do. Thank you for your support. I like as if I had.
Beste. Must be coming up to three o'clock now. I think that's number one. Yeah. So much to drink. So as you can see, hardcore's done, sand blinding's done. We literally seen on time maps, which we carried on film for too long. Um we put a temporary return here dry so we could get the sand in and whack it. And then we lifted them out and we put the blocks in now. So we're just getting this cut cold bridge strip cut and in position and then we can start getting the fish green and the insulation down. And once that's in, the, uh, the first layer of viscreen and the insulation, then we'll carry on with this top course of block and the top course of brick, and then we can put the insulation. We'll cut the viscreen ready, but not put it in today because um, we've got a roof over it today. So I mean, it might get wet in there, but it's only a piece of poly to get out. There you go. Obviously it's a bit high because there's a course of block to go around there yet. Yeah. That's us. You just need to cut that piece in there, mate. Mm -hmm. This screen's cut ready to go in, so we're gonna whack that in, in a sec very carefully so we don't knacker our cold bridging strip. So still got quite a bit to do. Right, I can carry on with this little while it starts tidying up. Back to town that's for a bit while we get this sorted.
was a doddle. That was not a doddle. There we go. That was not a doddle. But it's done. With the extra course down, we've got the other piece down, and all the insulation parts ready to go. Obviously, things are a little bit different because the house bricks are 73 and we have to use 65s. I'm sure that, that, that I'm sure Dad's told you all this, but that just means we've had to elevate this a little bit. So we're uh, that's to the floor level. We're going to put a little bit of timber across the doorway and then we're good for concrete. Just one more cut of um, the screen and we'll get that tidied up looking nice. But that's, that's tomorrow now because it's like about quarter past five. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those where it's the little stuff that just slows you down because there's that much you have to do to fix the little issue. But it's done. We've officially, it looks like we've done something now, finally. <sighs> so yeah, we will catch you tomorrow for the concrete and whatever else gets done. We will see you there. Gotta uh, do the outro from home. I uh, forgot to do it at work. So let me get to my uh, my blank space. Uh, yeah, so whatever job this was, I have no idea, but there it was. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's a massive help and is a good support for the channel. Any additional support anyone would want to give, there is the super thanks under the video or there's dad's PayPal in the description. That's not necessary by any means. It's a bonus way of supporting the channel, which is greatly appreciated, but not necessary. So don't be worrying. <laughs> this has been Bricklaying with Steve and Alex from home with our new uh, trade boards. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one.